Welcome back to the Fuller Fanatic channel. Today's overview has been provided to me by way of CRKT. New to the 2021 lineup for Columbia River Knife and Tool, here we have the Trask, designed by Eric Oaks. With a closed length of 4 and 43 hundredths of an inch, the Trask's handle is comprised of glass reinforced nylon or GRN. Handle thickness comes in at 62 hundredths of an inch, sporting a deep carry build and flared right side tip up only pocket clip. The Trask also has a frame liner comprised of stainless steel with some extensive milling going on, aiding in weight relief. As we take a look at the handle spine side, you will notice the blue spacer in the same accent color as the collar surrounding CRKT's new locking mechanism, the deadbolt lock. The Trask utilizes an oval thumb hole as its means of deployment, and coupled with the use of an IKBS ball bearing pivot, the travel is extremely smooth. Sporting a drop point sheep's foot type of blade, Coming in at 3 and 32 hundredths of an inch in length and comprised of D2 steel, the hollow grind sports a beautiful satin finish. The blade's thickness is 130 thousandths of an inch and the overall length of the Trask open is 7 and 3 quarters of an inch with a total weight of 4.4 ounces. As for my personal take on the Trask, I have to say it's a home run. The balance on the build is locked in and although the handle's thickness sounds wide on paper, the handle's ergos form to the hand. And the GRN scales have a 40 degree angle around its entire edge, slimming the in-hand feel. There is no jimping anywhere on the Trask, but the scales do have a rib section on both sides. In addition to the scales angled texturing that goes back and forth between horizontal and vertical lines, providing grip along the scales entire surface, the blade's shape and grind make for a hair shaving sharp edge. And the blade steel will definitely hold up with my EDC task. The new deadbolt lock is refreshing and brings something different and exciting to the discussion. Proclaimed to be much stronger and reliable than any liner or frame lock, from its makeup and what I can see, I won't disagree with that. Not to mention, your fingers will never cross the path of the blade during disengagement. The ultimate feature, personally, I've yet to mention, and I know it's been added to the build solely due to the deadbolt system, but nonetheless, I believe it still stands alone as its own feature. I briefly touched on the GRN having rib sections, and if you look on the front side and the second section created by the three mill lines, you will notice a small uncoated screw recessed in the scale. And this is the D10 adjustment screw. In my personal opinion, this makes the deadbolt system a home run period. The action you see on this trask is to my liking in particular, and that's the great part in my mind. Everyone's trash can be tuned, all with a very minute turn of a T6 hex bit, and from the outside of the build nonetheless. Just barely turning this adjustment screw can turn the folder from a flickable fidget fun buttery smooth on bearings action to more of a workhorse. Phosphorus Browns washers, still ultra smooth, but more of a control deploy and retraction. The ability to conform to the user's preference and or daily tasks with a simple screw definitely sets this knife apart from anything I've seen. The one thing I will say, which is not a negative, but it's just my thoughts. I would love to see a front flipper version of this knife. Aesthetically, I feel like it just fits the bill. Even a frame locking front flipper version would be something special. Please comment down below, and as always, hit the like button, share, and please subscribe to the channel. Special thanks goes out to Columbia River Knife and Tool. And with that, I'm signing off from the Fuller Fanatic.